this base watch and directive in his briefs, he has the highlights of some news making the rounds today. I am Lola Day. Access Bank PLC over the weekend bagged the International Organization for Standardization Certificate for Societal Security Business Continuity Management System. Speaking during the presentation of the certificate in Lagos, Deputy Managing Director of Access Bank, Mr. Obina Umbosu said the certification was based on international best practices deployed by the bank to manage business continuity. Chevron Nigeria Limited and its Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation joint venture have marked down over $7 billion to stop routine gas flaring from its operations in Nigeria, it's been lent. Its managing director gas project, Mr. David Lukambi, who made this known, stated that the huge investment in its gas project have resulted in substantial reduction of the volume of gas routinely fled from its operations in the country. Enterprise Bank Limited has assured its customers that its acquisition by HBCL Investment Services Limited, a special purpose vehicle that was sponsored by Heritage Bank Limited, will not in any way interrupt its operations. The bank said the business combination process would strengthen its ability to provide better services to its customers. The Nigerian Stock Exchange, in partnership with the Convention for Business Integrity, is set to launch the foremost corporate governance rating system in Nigeria today. In a statement, the NSC said the CGRS launch will be attended by corporate sector participants, joined by government and civil society delegates from across Nigeria and globally. An expert in the nation's oil and gas sector has warned that the proposed private companies' conversion and listing bill may lead to loss of tax revenue for Nigeria. Head of Tax and Corporate Advisory at Price, Water Copas, Nigeria, Mr. Taiwo Oyedele, who made this known in an article noted that based on the 2013 tax revenue profile, oil and gas companies in Nigeria and non oil private companies paid over 3 trillion naira in income taxes to the Federal Inland Revenue Services. And on sports, new coaches of the Super Eagles led by Shoaibu Amodo are expected to meet in Abuja this week to draw out a game plan for next month's 2015 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Congo and South Africa. According to a reliable top football official, the newly appointed coaches will meet in Abuja most likely on Friday to agree on how to go about the matches against Congo and South Africa. For details on this news brief, please visit www.bizwatchnigeria.ng. You can also follow us on Twitter at bizwatchnigeria and like our fan page on facebook.com forward slash bizwatchnigeria. That'll be all for now, but remember, there's no luck in business. There's only drive, determination and more drive. 